advantage of their knowledge of the industry in Nashville and of some of the legends that we play every day here on Real Country. Larry Weiss is the guy behind the smash hit, multi-million selling, Rhinestone Cowboy. Hi Larry, how are you? I am fine, how are you? I'm good, you just got off a plane, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I just came back from uh, Los Angeles. And yeah. a project that you're going to A couple of projects. Uh, one of them, um, Rhinestone Cowboy, is being turned into a musical. That is so cool. Awesome. I read that, and that is so cool. Now, did you start the work on that? The yes. On that? Yes. Uh, I've uh, co-written what they call the book. The script is called the book. Uh -huh. And uh, I've written just about all the songs as well, the score as okay. well. And we're hoping it's going to move forward by the end of the year. Okay. Can you give us any juice on it, like, uh, you know, plot lines, things like that, or do we have to wait? Well, I, I always had it in mind to do a musical, and oh, about 30 years ago, I came back to New York, and I was walking down the same streets I used to walk down, you know, when I first started writing songs, and I bumped into a, a buddy of, an old buddy of mine, uh, in, right in front of the Brill Building, which is the Tin Pan Alley Building, and he, he shook my hand, he wouldn't let go of my hand, mm -hmm. and he said, I know why you wrote that song. And I said, well, okay. Enlighten me. And he said, you wrote that song for all of us that had a dream of making it on Broadway. Wow. And I said to myself, that could be a good reason I wrote the song. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I'll so I, kind of, I kind of adopted that thought and expanded upon it, and that's kind of what the musical is going to be about. Oh, that's fantastic. Glenn Campbell fans listening right now are so excited to hear that. You got your start. The first song ever recorded uh, that you cut by a, a major artist was George Jones. George first Jones. Song you ever had cut. Yes, uh huh. Play me some of that, can okay. you? Okay. I was actually 19 years old when I wrote this song. Is that right? You're yeah. only 21 now, right? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> but I got married at 16. She was 19. You know? <laughs> but uh, That's, we need another did, hour. She for that. decided that after she got pregnant with my son, and I had a daughter already, that I couldn't play country music anymore. I was gonna quit going to the bars. So I said one of these days, but not tonight. And I wrote that this, this night, that it's night, sitting on the bar. One of these days, I'm gonna settle down. I'm gonna plant my feet. Yeah, honey, one of these days, one of these days, but not tonight. So pour me a whiskey and play me one more song. And baby, dance with me. Then please drive me home. I'm gonna make some changes in this old boy's life. Yeah, honey, one of these days, one of these days, but not tonight. Yeah, honey, one of these days, one of these days, but not tonight. All right. Yeah, so the one unique thing about artists of the past that we all have grown to love is that the moment you heard one voice, one note, one word, right. you knew exactly who it was. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and today that just doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's... Well, we'll get into that later. But There's a lot of which, <laughs> which blonde sang that one again? Yes, <laughs> yeah. Which one is that? We need another one of those. Instead of back, you know, at another point in life, you're saying, well, we already have one of those. Let's look for something different. You know, today, well, we have this person who's successful. So what we do is cookie cutter that and say, well, that'll make us successful too. And it's just the opposite. What really truly tests or stands the test of times are individuals. And I think that's what the music industry should be all about, which is what Rock and Load is all about. I mean, going back to roots, going back to old school, going back, it doesn't matter what color, what age, what size, what physicality, it had nothing to do with that. Do you cut it? That's the whole thing. Are you good? And are you good? <laughs> and on that's, all levels of art. all levels good. of good, yeah. yeah. It's not necessarily, you know, I've had conversations with people about, say, well, Bob Dylan wasn't a great singer. Well, well Bob Dylan's Bob Dylan. He didn't have to be. <laughs> you know, right. I mean, uh, <laughs> neither was, you know, a lot of other folks. Of course he's not you know, mm -hmm. uh, Freddie Mercury, but you know what? They stand the test of time because would Neil they Young are. have made it through the yeah, first cut of American Idol? That's exactly right. Would yeah. he have done so? Mm -hmm.